Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Tonight's quick clip will be short sweet and to the point. Please watch the full video we found on BTC Session YouTube channel on how to make your crypto unseizable. As we all know everyone is terrified of the space and most governments have already jumped the gun on crypto by overreacting. We are here to keep the value of our hard work safe. I'm not one to think the government is completely worthless, but on a personal note I've always been weary about controlling leadership. I don't think anyone has ever been happy to be controlled by anyone especially when the benefits are always taken from the controlled by the controller. Let's get into this video on how to keep your coins safe. The US, it's, it's fucking insane. Like the way that it works, if, if you, if, if somebody wants to accuse you of, of a crime, then you have the benefit of being declared innocent until proven guilty. But if you have property that they indicate was part of a crime, they can then seize your property and indicate that it, yes, it, it was involved in crime. And then it's up to you on your own dime to prove the innocence of the property because it's not human, it doesn't have human rights, so it doesn't matter. And so you, there were instances, and this is just like entirely outside of Bitcoin, but like there's instances where people, they'll be driving, they'll have cash, maybe they're going to buy a vehicle or something, and they'll get pulled over and the police officer will be like, oh, do you have any like cash or anything like that on you in the car? And that's like a probing question. And then they'll, they'll claim, oh, I smelled something or whatever. And so you have $5,000 worth of cash. You said it's for a car, but I detect the presence of marijuana. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I believe that this cash is going to be used in a crime to purchase illegal drugs. And so I'm seizing this asset. It will be up to you to prove the innocence of your assets, of which at that point, it's going to cost you more to actually go through the court process of proving that. Um, and so a lot of people just, they just throw their hands up and they're like, well, I just got extorted for five grand or whatever there are, is taken away. This this exact same kind of thing for Bitcoin. And I could very much see them trying to pull the kind of crap where it's like, oh, there was, uh, you, you know, like just on chain analysis of like, oh, this like six hops back mingled with this mm -hmm. other coin that was implicated here, which like, <laughs> you know, a few hops like a single hop, there's no direct association. But nonetheless, I could see them utilizing tactics like that to just confiscate people's coins where they just they have no idea what to do and, and they it's not even worth them trying. So the the answer here is make it impossible to seize your coins. Um, get if you're worried about something like this, get the, I mean, the simplest thing is to enact a passphrase on a regular hardware wallet and maybe have a decoy amount in the regular non-passphrase wallet. So that's one simple solution. But the other more robust solution uh, would be a geographically dispersed multi-sig, right? You create a multi-sig, two or three keys, you have one, um, and then you have other keys elsewhere. And even if somebody kicks in your door and says, your coins are, are uh, you know, civil asset forfeiture, we're taking your coins. While well, they get a single hardware wallet, they don't got shit. <laughs> they can't take anything. Not only that, but the, the, the single key, there's no indication that it's even part of a multi-sig. So harden your stack against civil asset forfeiture and then they have to play by the law of the land. It's not take your shit and ask questions later. It's you've got to go through a legal process to prove that you actually are, are have any say in what happens to my stack. Um, so, yeah. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. 
Stay tuned we are an active administration. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Never be afraid to voice your opinion. Tell us in the comments what you think, and give us some suggestions on what kind of content you'd like us to deep dive into. Until next time, good day, good night, and goodbye.